Teacher Talk and Sports what it does, what it do, how we live in. We are through three weeks in the NFL season. If you are still alive in your survivor pool, congratulations. I have moved on. Really haven't had the sweat in my first three weeks this past week. I took the Kansas City Chiefs over the Bears. That one was over or rather quick. Week two, I took the Dallas Cowboys over the New York Jets. Uh, another easy win. And in week one, I took the Baltimore Ravens over the Houston Texans. Of course, the way Survivor works, I will not be able to take any of those three teams the remainder of the season. Uh, but let's take a look at week four. Uh, we'll take a look at the schedule. We'll take a look at uh, some of the biggest favorites and see who are the best teams to take. Now, this is the le next week starts the bye week. So it'll be four teams on buys starting in week five. So we'll have two less games to choose from. Uh, but this week there are 16 games. Let's take a look at the schedule. So our Thursday night game, awesome matchup between two, two and one teams, Detroit and Green Bay. Uh, Sunday, man, it's already October Sunday. Atlanta at Jacksonville. Jacksonville really needs to rebound. Oh, man, are they going to get their act together? Miami at Buffalo. Many people see that as the game of the week. Um, the opposite of the game of the week is the following game, Denver at Chicago. Really nothing to take um, in any of those games. Baltimore at Cleveland. Uh, Cleveland, man, they look like they have a top maybe three defense in the NFL this season. Deshaun Watson coming off his best performance. Meanwhile, Baltimore had their first loss and have had a bunch of injured starters in week three. Cincinnati at Tennessee. Congrats, Cincinnati finally getting off the schneid, getting their first win. Los Angeles at Indianapolis. Who is the surprise leader in the AFC South after three games? The Indianapolis Colts at 2-1. and one. But so far, nothing looks like a game you should take in Survivor. Tampa Bay at New Orleans. Uh, Derek Carr has that AC joint injury. They said there's a chance he'll play. Uh, but could Jameis Winston be going back to play uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers team? Uh, he had that 30-30 season with. 30-30 is good in baseball, but uh, he had a 30-touchdown, 30 30-interception 30 season. Washington at Philadelphia. Man, Washington got humbled in their Week 3 blowout against the Bills. Eagles 3-0, but their offense, Jalen Hurts, haven't seen the click on all cylinders, but Philly might be a team you want to take. Minnesota at Carolina. Will we see Andy Dalton again? Uh, but... 0-3 Minnesota, 0-3 Carolina. Uh, so two games be, uh, two games of winless teams on the season. Pittsburgh at Houston. Pittsburgh's offense really hasn't put it together, but they're 2-1. and one. Meanwhile, C.J. Stroud has definitely looked like uh, the best rookie quarterback thus far in the young season. Las Vegas at Los Angeles. Ah, man, Las Vegas really needs to put it together before everything starts to unravel, uh, which would have been the case for the Chargers had they not eked out their victory against the Minnesota Vikings. Um, New England at Dallas. I would believe that Dallas would rebound. Um, you know, New England finally got their first win um, against a New York Jets team uh, that really... You can't see that as an impressive win. Uh, Arizona at San Francisco. Man, uh, Arizona definitely an impressive win against the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, unexpected for sure. San Francisco, one of three undefeated teams remaining along with the Eagles and Dolphins. Chiefs at Jets. Uh, two straight mismatches here. So here we're getting to the games where you might want to take a team in Survivor. In our Monday night game, Seattle at New York. Um, I'm a Giants fan. Um, I don't think Seattle's a good team to take, but I don't anticipate the Giants winning. And when I make my week four picks uh, by the spread, maybe tomorrow, um, you'll see that. So if we take a look at the week three grid, man, I'm this is averaging out ESPN Office Football Pool and Yahoo. So 17.4% took the Cowboys. 
They are out. 20.4% took Jacksonville over Houston. They are out. So a lot of people were eliminated in week three. So again, congratulations if you are able to move on. Um, you know, I took the Chiefs knowing how um how much disarray the Chicago Bears team has of now. And um, right now, Justin Fields, you know, flip a coin, who's been the worst quarterback in the league this season, him or Zach Wilson. So we take a look at week four. So um, I agree with the team most often taken. San Francisco, 34%. Now, you might have taken them, as you see, 16.1% took them in week three. Thursday night football against the Giants, minus Saquon Barkley, minus Andrew Thomas. Uh, so the Chiefs are definitely a good team to take as well. Hey, the Jets signed Trevor Simeon. I mean, that's not really anything that's going to push the needle, but is he better than Zach Wilson? Uh, definitely debatable at this point. Uh, Eagles, I think they're definitely a good team to take against Washington. Uh, Washington was one of those 2-0 and teams that I really didn't believe was that good. And man, were they destroyed by the Buffalo Bills. Um, but otherwise, you know, not many teams to take. You see the next highest taken Minnesota. Uh, three and a half point favorites at Carolina. Uh, Dallas, 4.7%. Uh, Pittsburgh, 4.2%, but I just can't trust their de offense right now uh, to take them and Survivor. So my choice is definitely going to be the 49ers. Um, yes, I know Arizona did just win, but they'll be on the road. 49ers just oodles and oodles more talent than the Arizona Cardinals. I just can't foresee the 49ers losing that game. But, you know, it's the NFL any given Sunday. You don't know. I'm going with the 49ers. Hopefully when I make this video in week five, I am still alive. Um, you know, I'm sure a lot of people will be taking the Chiefs. I did take them in week three against the Bears. And another reason why the 49ers are a good pick, there's no sure time to take them uh, anytime soon. Because week five, Dallas. Week six at Cleveland, as I mentioned, their defense looks lights out. Week seven at Minnesota. You know, maybe Minnesota gets their act together. Yes, they're 0-3. But uh, it's kind of the opposite of last season where uh, every game was close. They won this year. Every game's close and they're losing. Cincinnati, who knows, by week eight, Cincinnati might have turned the corner. Week 9 by Week 10 at Jacksonville. Uh, Jacksonville off to a slow start, but still seen as a favorite in the AFC South. And then maybe Week 11 would be the next time where they would be a good pick where they're home against Tampa Bay. But let me know in the comments uh, who you have available, what teams you've taken so far to uh, advance to Week 4. Uh, if you did get eliminated, which team tripped you up? Who are you looking to take in Week 4? As I've mentioned in pretty previous videos i'm not necessarily someone in survivor who likes to save teams for later in the season uh because you know you might take a lesser team as they're playing one of the bottom feeders and guess what if you lose it doesn't matter if you have kc san fran philadelphia uh still available if you are no longer in your survivor pool anyhow don't forget to subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe, like the video, share the video, hit the bell for notifications, I'm out.